Um, so basically I got one bag as a gift now and one bag as a, as part of a brand sponsorship. And guys, I feel like if you have certain items, you should also carry them and use them. and welcome back to my channel so today um we're finally back um this video was actually filmed over a couple of days because of my second encounter with COVID <laughs> um and I yeah I was just feeling too weak um and I needed a little bit of time however we are back now and from next week onwards we're back to our normal schedule as well nonetheless I hope you really enjoy this video today we have new bags yes plural <laughs> um one is a designer bag and one is just like a Lighthearted little joke. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna show you both of these. Um, we're gonna look at some fine jewelry that I bought and I bought so many dresses. Yeah, I mean, I was sick. I was just lying in back and ordering stuff in. <laughs> oh, and so many people actually asked me about my earrings recently. It's like an asymmetrical kind of pair and they are from Salvatore Ferragamo, just in case you're wondering, cause I got so many messages. I absolutely love them. I really like how they look like. Um, Jesse and I are probably the biggest nerds out there. Um, when we heard about, you know, a regular choice coming up with this collaboration, we were so hyped. We might love Chanel and we might love MS and we might love everything luxury and designer, but deep down, you know, I'm playing Red Dead Redemption 2 every day. <laughs> this is gonna be like a whole video. Um, we are going to start with the bag. I don't know when this video is actually coming out. Um, because I need to wait for Jessie to receive her goodies. Um, so, you know, it might might be a while, but I bet this is basically the first video I'm currently filming after the whole Chanel drama. So I needed something for the soul. <laughs> something really, really lighthearted, guys. Let's start with the bag first. So, guys, have you ever heard about Irregular Choice? Um, I think it's a UK brand, um, I might be mistaken, but I, I, I know for sure that they have a shop or a boutique in Camden. Um, and also I think they had a pop-up shop in Liberty, which is like a really fancy like department store that we have here in London. Um, they usually sell really beautiful shoes, um, it's all handmade, they came out with a very special collaboration. And Jesse and I, we were like, you know, in our little group, and I was like, oh my god. Jesse, we need to buy this stuff <laughs> and make a video about it. And Jesse was like all in. I think we wanted to buy like a lot more than we actually bought, but we really needed to, you know, stop each other from buying more because it's like, you don't need it. It's just like something, like I said, for the soul. Oh my God, I can already see something. Okay, guys. Hello. Can we see something? What is that, you wonder? I'm really happy they put it with a back to the opening because oh my god ah! oh my god it's so cute oh my god my heart my heart is melting okay so let's let's open this this bag is a collaboration between irregular choice and Yes, after the whole drama, I felt like, well, I needed a little bit of, I don't even know what you want to call this. <laughs> Let me have a look at it quickly. I think I need to steam iron this. There you can see it. <gasps> and I'm the biggest Pokemon fan. I have so many Pokemon plushies, oh my god. I think I need to steam iron this, to be honest, guys, because you can see there's like a little bit of uh, wrinkles. Um, but, oh god. Is this not the fugliest bag you've ever seen? <laughs> and I'm talking fabulously ugly, just to clarify that. <laughs> so, um, Jacob saw that one as well and he was like, oh my God, it is so amazing. If this was Sailor Moon, he would have gotten it immediately. But I mean, I, I, I love Pokemon so much. Okay, let's look at some details. Why not, right? So we have little Jigglypuff here. We have little Togepi here. We have like little uh, hearts there with a the crystal. There we have, can you see that? It changes from, I don't, guys, I don't know the English names of the Pokemon. I always played it in German. Um, look at this. Oh, can we look inside? It's just a joke. You know, maybe I'm gonna give this back to one of my nieces 
at some point. So how you open it, you have like a magnetic closure, you have another like little uh, push button basically. Oh, it comes with a strap. I did not know that. like my Bottega Veneta dumpling from the inside. <laughs> I love it, this beautiful like golden. Okay, that's 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 a nice interior lining. Um, it has one zipper compartment and you guys, that's it, a little phone pocket there as well. It's a joke. I'm a nerd, I told you guys, I am a nerd. And a little strap comes with the bag as well. Yeah, interesting. This stuff actually sold out so quickly the day it was released. Like the bag that Jessie actually wanted to get like was sold out immediately. She couldn't even get it. So um, yeah, stay tuned to see what Jessie bought. Okay, I probably can't even show you the entire motive of the, um, the entire picture that's printed on the scarf because, you know, the scarf's gonna be huge. So let me do this. That is the scarf, guys. We have a little Dragonite, Dragoran in German. We have a little Jigglypuff, a little Charmander, and I was like, yeah, sold. Oh my god, there's the Jigglypuff! What's wrong with me? What is wrong with me? Like, I'm 31 and I love Pokemon. Oh, here we are! <gasps> Hello! <laughs> yep, I, I, I like it. There we have Dragonite, and there we have Jigglypuff, and there we have Charmander, and, and, oh. <laughs> hey guys, so... Thanks so much Romina for collabing with me to do this video. We did pick up some really cute pieces from a regular choice and guys not sponsored but yeah we we're just obsessed with the Pokemon collection and when it dropped Romina was right on it and she checked out and got her stuff but I was a little bit slow to the game so what I initially wanted sold out and I was like freaking out and we we're just like oh my gosh it was like all we like panic buying. <laughs> like communicating to each other like oh my gosh we've got to check out but luckily we did pick up a few pieces and Romina got like some really awesome pieces which you guys uh, would would have seen but I wanted to share with you guys what I picked up so I got this little heart shaped bag and uh the coin purse which highly recommend the coin purse guys I think it is really really cute and I also picked up the socks so yeah, guys, if you're interested, uh, I guess check it out. This is not an ad, guys. It's just like, you know, if you like Pokemon, recommend it. Okay, then let's talk about fine jewellery. I don't know if you've ever heard about the brand Anissa Kermika. <clears throat> I don't know if I pronounced it right. I hope so. Um, my friend Denise actually made me aware of it. And they have so many, so many beautiful pieces. Um, I'm going to show you some of them. Um, I've been in love with this ring for a while and I was thinking oh my god it is so beautiful it is such a great mechanism because it will fit anyone um you know you can also decide to just wear it on whatever finger you want it's it's an adjustable ring um so I thought that is really really great um it's made out of I think 18 karat gold um if I'm not mistaken and it's real diamonds so you know it's Stunning, stunning, stunning. I'm gonna try and get a close up. I don't know if my camera is gonna focus, but I think it's such a beautiful piece. Um, I, I might actually be thinking about getting more in the future, maybe a bracelet or a necklace as well. And um, yeah, so Jesse actually always says, um, "This is my beautiful engagement ring. Uh, I can't wait you to show my to show you my wedding band as well." Um, in a couple of weeks. It goes so, so well together with this beauty. Oh, I love it. Jesse actually always says, like, the real estate on our fingers <laughs> is, of course, you know, um, in terms of how many rings can we wear. And it's I just love this, this expression, real estate on our fingers. I'm very happy with the real estate of my fingers and there's still a lot of space for other pieces in the future. Um, so, yeah, let me know. Do you like it so far? I, I really love it. Okay, so with the next bag, guys, I I know I will get some critique, um, and that's totally fine. Maybe we have to talk about this, but I also need to give you a little bit of backstory. I I really love this bag a lot, and I think it's a perfect everyday bag. However, um, 
especially I'm gonna talk to Mel now. Hi Mel, um, in case you're watching. Um, this is the Dolce & Gabbana bag, yes. And I have never in my life purchased anything from Dolce & Gabbana myself. So the only Dolce & Gabbana bag that I have in my collection, um, I got as part of a brand sponsorship and we talked about this. And I know that there are a lot of voices saying, you know, you should not support Dolce & Gabbana and of course everybody has to figure that out for themselves. Um, if they want to or not, I, there are lots of, like, when you look at celebrities, lots of celebrities like J-Lo, uh, Rihanna, they all, like, you know, back to basically supporting Dolce & Gabbana, where you also think, okay, should that be the case, should that not be the case? Um, so, for me, I, myself, have actually never purchased anything from Dolce & Gabbana. This was a gift, now, um, from a family member, because I was, basically, I received my bag from... The little black bag, right? I received the little black bag um, as part of a brand sponsorship and I love it. I have to be honest, you know, I love carrying it. You don't have to worry about it. It's so under the radar, you know, nobody's recognizing that you're actually wearing a luxury bag and you don't have to worry about it. You know, nobody's gonna nick your bag. So I really like it a lot. Um, and I think because I was, you know, talking about it all the time, saying how much I love it, I received this as a gift. Um, so now I have two <laughs> Dolce & Gabbana bags um, and I, let me show it to you first, and I think it's a perfect everyday bag, but I also will not purchase anything from Dolce & Gabbana in the future, or myself, I, I won't. <laughs> um, so basically I got one bag as a gift now and one bag as, a, as part of a brand sponsorship, and guys, I feel like if you have certain items, you should also carry them and use them, you know, if you find a Dolce & Gabbana bag in a pre-loved shop, I think there's nothing against, you know, buying buying that bag. Also, if you already own Dolce & Gabbana bags, like, you should still enjoy the pieces you own, you know, no matter what kind of situation we're currently in. Maybe we should not support uh, Dolce & Gabbana with, you know, <laughs> maybe we should not buy anything from them right now. But, like, the pieces we already own, I feel like, you know, we should use because otherwise it would be a waste as well, right? Okay, this just as a little disclaimer, but I understand that it is probably the right decision not to purchase from Dolce & Gabbana. Um, however, you know, I'm not gonna hurt a family member who gifts me something like this by not wearing it. Okay, here we are. Yes, it's basically the bigger version of my little black bag. Um, and you can actually, because it has you know, the handles are taller, you can actually wear it on your shoulder, and oh, I really, really like it. Um, it is, like I said, it is beautiful, it is lace, and you guys know how much I love lace, but then again, it's very understated, you know. I love being understated recently, guys. I don't like that people, when I go walk around London, that they see, oh my god, she's wearing Chanel bag. Oh my god, you know, I, I love sometimes to just, like, hide. <laughs> And I feel like you can really do this um, with this bag. So this is it. It's just very simple. Um, it's basically just a tote. You can throw everything in and and that's it. So, oops, there we can see it. There's just some paper in there to stuff it. Um, I'm gonna show you now how it looks like on. Please forgive me, Mel, <laughs> for now owning two Dolce & Gabbana bags. I did not see this one coming. Um, yeah but i will enjoy them i will enjoy them for sure let me know your thoughts about the whole dolce and gabbana topic um do you have bags you know do you love wearing them etc etc so yeah got this one as well oh yeah and what i want to show you so there are my two beauties um but i actually steamed iron this bag now so it's been a couple of days since i unboxed it and um yeah so can you see it looks so cute it looks a lot better now I'm really happy. I mean, I don't know why this makes me so happy. I mean, I'm old, <laughs> but it does. And I think it is pretty cool. Yeah, so this is one of my new dresses. Um, you've seen it in the video earlier. And it's from Karen Milne, and I absolutely love it. I don't know what it is about this dress, but I love it to bits. Um, I can't wait to wear it out. I actually got it in green as well, guys. I'm going to show you in a second. Um, but I don't know. I really, really, really like it. Um, it's quite a stunner, isn't it? Um, love the colors. It reminds me of Gucci, I think. That's it. 
um, also let me quickly grab this whoops so I think like for summer if you just want to go into the city quickly you know and do something or meet people um, it's a perfect chill outfit isn't it yeah I love it okay let me go and switch into the green one et voila the green one I I, I I don't know they are very Gucci aren't they um, with the chains and everything I absolutely love it um, yeah Karen Moon you know what can you say it's it's amazing and the quality guys is so great it feels beautiful um, so this is a little bit more understated for the days you know when I don't want to wear pink <laughs> this is the same dress just tiny little bit more under the radar basically but yeah okay next one so this dress is actually from Burberry um, and I think it's pretty cool it's different I really like the material it feels so luxurious I mean it's Burberry right um, but I don't know I really liked it it gave me kind of like Helena Bonham Carter vibes <laughs> somehow I think um, you know it's kind of like a shirt dress but then let me know what you think. Yeah, so this one is from Karen Millen again. Again, very under the radar, but very chic. Um, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. I got two more Karen Millen and one dress from ASOS, but it's so cool. It's The cut is so amazing. That's why I got it. Let me show you. Okay, I, I'm still blown away. <laughs> I feel like this is the ideal dress for like hot summer days in the city. <laughs> So, you know, I don't know, I love it. I love it so much and I love it with those shoes as well. Um, mm. It's only aces, guys, but this is almost my favorite dress. Plus the pink one. <laughs> but yeah, I love how it's cut. So basically you have like this asymmetrical, I love asymmetrical things recently. You got like the sleeve here, you got like the little thing here. I love it, guys. Okay, I'm only waiting for summer now. This one is just absolutely fabulous. Um, I It reminds me of the blazer dress that I recently uh, got from Lily Silk as well. Love blazer dresses. I don't know why. And this one is like tailored as if it was made for me. It fits so perfectly. Um, it's from Karen Milne as well. It's a little bit Chanel-esque, right? Um, I mean, look at the look at the details here. Um, I have to say, of course, it reminded me of Chanel. That's probably why I bought it. Um, but yeah, it's really nicely made. And this one is the last one. So it's just like a little houndstooth dress. Um, I don't know. It's more. This is more of a chic casual on the chic casual side, right? Um, nonetheless, I really liked it um, with all the buttons on the sleeve and yeah so guys that's it i think i think i showed you everything now i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe join our little handbag obsessed family here because we all do have the same luxury disease yes we do <laughs> and i see you again very very soon bye